Hello, I'm Frank Sesno, your host on Planet Forward, coming to you from the George Washington University in the heart of Washington, D.C. Today, talking to Richard Crespine. He's the executive director of something called the Corporate Responsibility Officers Association. Corporate responsibility, imagine that. What is it? Corporate responsibility is how companies behave in society and how they are held accountable by society. You have done for a remarkable thing here. You've come up with the blacklist, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the, wor you know, the least corporately responsible citizens on this list. Mm -hmm. What's the blacklist? Well, the blacklist is our counter to our 100 best corporate citizens list. So for 10 years, we've published a list of the best corporate citizens. These are your worst corporate citizens. And we call it the blacklist because it's the most opaque companies, those who disclose the least information about their responsible behaviors. And their categories and responsible behaviors include their carbon footprint and their environmental posture. That's right, and, and as well as their financial performance, philanthropy, uh, governance, uh, employee, employee relations, and human rights. Who's on your blacklist? Well, some notable companies on the blacklist are uh, Lorillard, uh, which is one of the country's oldest tobacco companies, uh, Weight Watchers, Abercrombie & Fitch, uh, Exco Resources, which is an offshore drilling company, uh, along with uh, a total of 30 uh, companies. Here at Planet Forward, we ask the question, what can you do to reduce your carbon footprint? What are we going to do to address issues of climate change? Mm -hmm. What do these companies need to do to be more forthcoming on this? What do you want Abercrombie and Fitch to do? Mm -hmm. Well, for Abercrombie in particular, we would love for them and really all these companies to be more forthcoming. Uh, in order for people to make decisions and become more responsible as companies and for us as a society to hold them accountable, we need to know what they're up to. And these companies tell us nothing. On climate change specifically, who are you looking at? We, the worst companies in particular, well, we're looking at all of these companies, uh, but I think perhaps most notably would be uh, oil companies and heavy industries, folks like uh, Exco Resources, uh, BioRad Laboratories, and RPM International. Take Exco, for example. What do they do and what do they need to do to address this? Yeah. Well, Exco is a, they're an offshore drilling company and they also um, explore uh, in the Pennsylvania, Virginia, West Virginia areas for uh, uh, oil and natural gas. Uh, we'd like them to disclose. Just tell us what they're up to in terms of greenhouse gas emissions, what they're up to in terms of energy use, and, uh, and their total carbon footprint. I went to their website to mm -hmm. pull out what they say they are, and they say, we're an independent energy company principally engaged in acquisition, exploitation, and development of oil and natural gas properties. Mm -hmm. Is that by itself what gets them on the list? No, not at all. Uh, in fact, we make no distinction between different industries in terms of what those industries are. What we really care about is how well companies disclose their information so that other people can hold them accountable. I'd contrast Exco with Hess Oil. Hess Oil is on our 100 best corporate citizens list and has gone to extraordinary lengths to disclose what they're doing to reduce and manage their carbon footprint. Like what? Uh, well, they, they've, uh, for the last several years, uh, they've gone through an extensive transparency process to make it more clear to their supply chain partners, to their employees, to their customers, exactly what they're doing with greenhouse gas emissions, with their carbon footprint. So specifically on greenhouse gas emissions and carbon footprint, what do you want and what does this list suggest that Exco, Abercrombie & Fitch need to address, particularly in terms of their businesses? Well, we would like them to be uh, very transparent so that other people, their supply chain partners and other people within the community can make better decisions about Meaning what? How many truck miles they drive? You know, how they light their buildings? Yeah. What, what, are you, what are you looking for specifically in this kind of corporate responsibility realm? Yeah, we would like to know their policies, what their procedures, um, their actual carbon use. Um, we'd like to know their, uh, their greenhouse gas emissions. Um, there's 360 separate data elements that we look for, so I can't list them all for you right here, but uh, we, we want them to disclose that information. Question, the top company on your 100 best is Hewlett Packard. So mm -hmm. on the subject of climate change, what are they disclosing, what are they doing that puts them there? Well, Hewlett Packard is actually a great success story. They were uh, yellow carded from us last year and they have made a dramatic improvement in terms of their publication on all of their uh, worldwide uh, carbon footprint and climate change policies. They've also uh, done a great job uh, moving up to, I think, number nine, 19 in, uh, in overall disclosure for climate change and energy. So you're leaning on companies to disclose more, tell more, mm -hmm. and you think that that would actually lead to better climate and better carbon decisions. Well, without data, you can't, all you're making are guesses. Uh, and what we want is for all companies to disclose data so that not just us as a list maker, but all of society can hold them more accountable. And where can people see this list if they want to find it online? They, they can go to the CRO.com.